Hello everyone, welcome to the another video and in this video I will explain you how can you perform the sentiment analysis on the market based on Azure OpenAI and the Finance API. So when I'm saying sentiment analysis, then this particular use case is very useful when you want to analyze the data of let's say last seven days or last 10 days based on the news which is happening or the trolling in the market. So how can we grab that news, then analyze it and then come to some conclusion whether the sentiment was positive, negative or the neutral. And based on that sentiment, we can take a call whether we need to buy the stock, we need to sell it or how to go with it. So let's quickly start with this. And before that, I can quickly point you to the API which I'm going to use. So this is the API EOD HD. So you need to just log in here. I mean, definitely create your account, log in and it will give you an API key which you need to point it into your solution. And so once you are done with that, what you can do is, uh, let me start from here. So I'm using .env because I'm reading my configuration or the OpenAI key secret and all these things. I'm reading it from my configuration file which is config.env and that's the reason I'm using .env. And then I'm using the pandas and the EOD HD. So make sure that you are importing the API client from EOD HD. Then I'm uh, just constructing the object for our LLM and it is taking like, like you can go with the any model. I'm going with the chat model. So I'm just furnishing the name and the API version and the base endpoint. So these are the details which I grabbed it from my Azure portal. So if you don't know how to do it, uh, you just need to create an instance on uh, create an instance of Azure OpenAI on your Azure portal, and from there you can grab all these details. And still, if you are not sure what I'm talking about, I would recommend you to go and check out my video, in which I have explained like how to get started with Azure OpenAI. So that video can definitely provide you the base for all these values. Well. Next thing I'm doing is I'm making a call to the finance API. So what this does is you just need to provide the symbol you are looking for and the duration and the maximum number of records or the news you want to fetch. So I'm saying get me the record for Apple. Then this is the duration I'm looking for. And I just want seven records at max. So it will make a call and return you the seven records. And then what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning that text. So for cleaning the text, I have already written this function over here on the top, you can see. So it will remove your extra stuff based on my function. And I have written this function just to make, sh uh, make you aware that you may have to clean up additional things. It's not just this one thing, but you may have to clean up a lot many things based on what data you are getting. So this method or the function is just to give you an idea how to and where to call it. So this is my response. I'm constructing the data frame and on that, that data frame, I'm having the content column. So I'm just cleaning up the uh, text on that particular column, which is content. Now, next thing what I'm doing is there are uh, cases or there may be a situation wherein your content column is holding lot much of data. So in that case, you can write your custom implementation to either truncate the text or you just completely get rid of that uh, news feed or the news itself. So in my case, I'm just uh, taking the limit as 3000 tokens. So whenever it is going over it, I just want to discard that particular row. So that's what I'm doing in these few lines. So again, I'm saying uh, you can use your own encoder. You can use your own rules. You can take your own decisions whether you want to remove it or whether you want to just truncate some of the text. So that thing you can decide. Now what I'm going to do is, after this, next thing we need to do is we need to construct the system message and the user message because we are going to use the chat completion. So for that, we have to define these two messages. So what my system message is saying is, you are an AI model analyzing the sentiment of Apple's financial newsfeed and you need to perform the sentiment analysis based on the aspect and make sure to give me the score between minus one to 10 and also mention if there are any major positive or negative aspect of it. Then I'm saying that to provide me the response in the form of JSON because I just want to extract the 
that numerical value so if i'm not saying the format or the output format in that case it will just give me as a plain text and it would be a very big deal to extract the that number from that number out of that so let's go ahead and execute this i will take the third record And here you can see that the sentiment score is 8, which is very close to 10. And it's positive because it is highly profitable. It, because in that news feed, somewhere it is mentioning about the Apple's highly profitable service business. And there is no uh, nothing which can be set as a negative. So that's the reason it is giving the score as 8. Now you have the score. It is just a matter of extracting that and what we can do for that is we will convert that string into a json and then just read that particular key which is sentiment score so this is the flow which i have done for just one record but let's say you want to create your whole system in which you want to analyze the data for last 10 days or 15 days in that case you need to loop in these things and come up with a this particular score for all the 10 days you are analyzing and then you can use those 10 values to plot a graph chart pie chart whatever you want so that you can visualize it without uh, or without uh, i would say keep checking for the news feed uh, every now and then so i believe you can use this feature very well to save your time and Maybe you need not to read the whole news every time. Just by looking at the headline, you can decide whether you need to go to that news or not. Otherwise, anyways, you will be creating this, plotting this chart. So based on the chart and the data, you can go and quickly read that particular news. So that's all I have for today. And do let me know in comments how you're using this particular thing. Thanks for watching.